I grew up in the north. This is just another northern day. I think this hunt is going to be a, a big challenge, both for my dad and myself, just in different ways. He's right near the top of that dome. That's a big, big bear. We just saw the biggest bear that any of us have ever seen in the Yukon. Good sight. Good one. We should get on the move. Let's go. Let's do it. Today's the day. I did come to harvest a sheep, and I'm still locked into that. That's my mindset. And it's game over. The only hope we had was that we caught him. We come up on a ridge. We glass and see him. That whole time, he stopped twice. Otherwise, he was just moving. Yeah. He caught our wind. Made the wrong call to go up in after him. Now he's traveled down into the timber. We can see his tracks go down into the timber. So that's game over. So we're not going to follow him into the timber because you'll never get him. We're a little further down, which is great. So we can do some glassing of the end of this range and see if we can't find some sheep. That's how quickly it changes. You got to be versatile and ability to, to move quickly. In this situation, maybe moving quickly was the wrong way to go, but you never know unless you try. Let's get back and collect up my father. See how he's doing over there. He's probably got a big fire going. Or else he's in a sleeping bag. Pretty much tells the story then, doesn't it? We followed his track for probably a couple miles. In that whole distance, he turned like, and stopped twice. He probably winded us right away, but he never ran. I was expecting to see, uh, see you in your sleeping bag. No, I don't want to go to the sleeping bag until I'm ready to go to sleep. Not to be. Not to be. Let's just go back to where we were and glass. Yeah, yeah we can do that. Starting to get chilly, man. It's cold. I've been standing out here for two hours, maybe roughly, and I'm starting to feel it. <sighs> I am. I'm chilled right through. I got to get walking. We got to get hiking, man. But it's been a productive day. I mean, overall. Oh heck, we've seen lots. Yeah. No sheep, no caribou. The main <laughs> things we're looking for, <laughs> we haven't come across yet. Now with the snow, I was just kind of hoping that uh, possibly on these south sides that the sheep would. Uh, she would actually come down a little bit. As soon as that sun shines on the hills, which is hopefully tomorrow, that's exactly what's going on all day, yeah. um, you can really follow tracks. Because that's oh. what I did, is I picked up tracks oh. um, going across the mountain, and that's how I followed it right to the grizzly bear. So hopefully we can do that with sheep tomorrow. Yeah. Enough talk, let's go. I'm done. <laughs> okay. I don't know about you, but I, guess I had we're enough of this. I guess we're going. <laughs> guess I'm following him. Well, there is hiking back to the camp anyway, yeah, so know, you'll be warm by the time you get back there. Another hour from camp or longer, right? At least. Well, if we don't get moving, it's going to be dark by the time we get back there. And I don't know if I wrap my head lamp. It'll be in my bag. I'm glad to get back in before it got too dark, too. We had quite a hike back in here. Looks like a bit of a red sunset this evening, and hopefully that's a good sign for tomorrow. So this fire feels good. I'm glad to be back in camp for sure. How do you feel about your sheep hunt so far? Oh, this is a, it's amazing. Look, other look than, at, you're, other than you're crying, right? The wind is blowing likely tears in my eyes. That's I'm, exactly. I'm, I grew up in the north. This is just another northern day. So you old saying, put up or shut up, right? So I'm going to be quiet. You didn't expect this, but we have it. So we live with it, right? Well, we're waiting for it to clear is kind of what we are doing. It's just a matter of where we're waiting for it to clear. Oh, I've got a 50% vote, right? On what? On going back to camp. No. <laughs> you got the other 50, so we're kind of tied. No, I got 51. That's not fair. Well, life isn't fair sometimes. Okay, so what are you saying? <laughs> There's four guys to be voting. You don't get a vote. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're behind the fourth wall. Isn't that what they say? Yeah. We're struggling a little bit right now with, you know, day three. And we really haven't been able to see the tops of the mountains where we want to go for sheep. So it's been challenging. We've been pretty much resigned to this valley for the last three days because you can't really see anything. And yeah, yesterday we could see part way up the mountain, grizzly bear level. Beyond that, 
the, the tops where the sheep are have been pretty much closed out to us. If common sense prevailed, mm -hmm. we, we wouldn't, wouldn't be, be standing here today. <laughs> like, we would have been here a month ago. But it is opening up right now. You can see more of the mountains, which we couldn't see five minutes ago. That's glass. Let's go and sit and find a cozy spot. It's pretty much what we've done today is stayed low because it's windy enough down here, let alone raging up top. So we've been kind of spending the day just moving around a little bit and looking for caribou and glassing up on the tops and looking for sheep as well, but haven't seen any sheep. Four caribou. Four caribou. Four cows, so not what we're looking for. We've chosen not to go on the top of the mountain. And we're not going there. There's no point in going up there and sitting in the snow and wind with the inability to see anything. Well, we're still here, we're still looking. There's really very few other options, so we'll make the best of what we got and hope for clearer skies. We'll see. We'll keep looking for caribou. Yes, sir. All right, let's go. On the horizon. We're pretty happy to be get a clear day with no wind and high cloud. It's been some tough days sitting in the valley. So now that we've got up here, it's amazing. And fortunately, right away after cresting this hill, we we're able to spot four rams on the one ridge over. And two of those rams are good. That's exciting to me. How about you? I'm ready, man. I'm rocking. I'm just... Keep control of my breathing. You know, I gotta remember when I go to squeeze the trigger to keep it all in perspective rather than get excited. Maybe the best way is to walk up and around versus drop down and then climb up. One ridge that way and three that way, right? Well, that's kind of the way we have to go at them, yeah. but yeah, that's the, the safe route. Two to three hours maybe to get over there. It'll take a bit of time. We should get on the move. Let's go. Let's do it, today's the day. It's going to be a big hike over to get to them, but we've got time. It's still early in the morning. We've got to come up over top of this hill and then up the next one and then across the top. I don't think they're going to move too far. No. They're feeding uphill right now. Yeah. Who knows? The only thing I'll push them is if they're spooked. So we got to take our time, get over there into position. We can't spook them. That's not an option. No. <laughs> As you can see, like there's just no cover up here. It's just complete wind blown. As you can see, if you watch our episode last year of our sheep hunt, you may recognize some of this debris field. We've been through this before, and it's a reminder of the struggle that I had last year getting through, but this year I'm feeling really good. I spent three days a week in the gym all winter. I kept in relatively good shape. I feel great, I feel really good right now. He never wants to wait for me. I don't know why. He always has to go ahead. He always has to be first. Thinking back to last year, I can remember the struggle and the breathing and how difficult it was. The danger right now is the debris field making the right steps at the right time and moving through this at a pace that you're not going to endanger yourself. It's going well. I'm thoroughly pleased. And you couldn't ask for a nicer day. The weather's been perfect. The fire's going in the tops of these mountains. Feel good. And I'm ready to harvest a big ram. We've seen four, as we said earlier, and it's going to be a good day, a really good day. Can't say much more than that. Better get moving. Moving good. Well, we've been hiking for about an hour and a half just in this debris field, it seems. How much further do we have to go, do you figure? Distance-wise, I think we're probably at 3K to where we really got to slow down. You know when you're walking, you don't have time to look around, but look at this, amazing. Those are the moments when you do stop, take a look around and just enjoy it, right? Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I'm grateful for being here. So am I. Shall we carry on, son? Let's go. Let's go. I can't imagine what they go through on Everest and mountains like that. I mean, for me, this is my Everest, I guess. He's not about to stop. And he just stopped. Greg is ahead of me and sometimes well ahead of me. And then he'll stop and he'll heal the grass. Can you call it a moose this morning? Call it a moose. Guaranteed? Guaranteed. And it just goes to show that my uh, calling is somewhat superior to some people. You know, I don't mind saying like, this is the most difficult hunt that I've been on. Well, we started this hunt with Brent and he couldn't be here. 